Mark Crossfield here with Golf Online today talking TaylorMade M2 iron. So I've got the iron here in front of me. I've tried it on the course as well as in a custom fit setting, which will show you the numbers in a second. So the new M2, we get this fluted neck where they remove weight from the neck, trying to save weight in certain places so they can distribute it in others to help you rather than have it wasted out there in the neck. It's geoacoustic, so it's engineered for sound and forgiveness with these strengthening bars as well as different sounds to make it feel solid and different off the face in a way that help you hopefully feel like you're going to have a little bit more control over this iron. I don't quite see how that works personally but it's what is on it. It's covered in slots this iron so we get a new slot now on the neck. This is there to help with their bending situation which is great for custom fit. Anything making these more uh, conducive to custom fitting is a good thing because they do come out a little bit upright tailor-made. Other manufacturers do as well. Um, so having a ease of use bending bar there will help for all golfers looking to get this club custom fit, which you all should be. We get slots on the bottom and new slots on the face and the bottom, which are going to give more consistent ball speeds across the face is what Taylor made is saying. Help you on those miss hits, those kind of things. Now I've tried it on the course and the dry testing. It looks very good. When I took it to the course, I like the chrome finish. The top line isn't overly massive. You do see a little of the back of the club as you put it down by the ball on the longer irons, so on the five iron and what have you. But as game improvement irons goes, chunkier irons goes, it's one of the better lookers out there, which is what I was impressed with. Let's have a look at my custom fit numbers and see what it threw at me. So M2 numbers here with the seven iron. I was carrying that 172, which is definitely more my six iron carry. Now the lofts on these are stronger, but look at the peak height, 34 and launching at 17.9. So they do go up in the air, uh, with a little less spin, 6,000, my 7 iron stays around 6.5 to 7,000. So we get high launching, high peaking high irons with lower spin, and that's where that extra distance comes from. So the 6,000 spin, as I say, launching at 17.8 with the 7 iron, so launching comfortably up in the air. It felt like a very solid iron. It wasn't the craziest of sounding irons for a game improvement, which is good. Sometimes the tailor-made irons can be a bit too explosive off the face but it still felt very strong and powerful. Definitely one for you to go and get custom fit for. You've got to just bear in mind, if you are dropping spin numbers, making sure the peak height is allowing you that ball to stop as it comes down into the green, um, and just make sure the numbers are dialing into your set. So remember, if you get a set of these, you might find that you have a gap at the bottom, and you might have a gap at the hybrid end because of distance gains you might get in these. So make sure you look at gap wedges and hybrids when you get fit for these to make sure it fits in the whole set. Good looking set of irons for a game improvement player. Um, very friendly, definitely in lots of ways. It felt very friendly to hit. What difference the slots would make, you need to go and test because I find it very hard to actually get quantified data to test to show that they are improving me, but I'm sure their robot testing is. And that's why it's so important that you go and hit them. Post those comments down below. As always, TaylorMade M2, is it something you'll try or not? Is it too chunky? Is it what you want? Do you like the more game improvement irons? I'd love to hear as always. Hit that comment section.